Okay, so having played uh, Sonia Cross through season one, going into filming season two, did you really feel like you had mastered her complexities? I, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to master them all because how could I possibly know how one lives with Asperger's, you know? So I try my hardest to make her my own and make it right in my head and learn as much as I can about Asperger's and try not to drop my gun every two minutes, <laughs> which is actually harder. But, uh, you know, I feel like she evolves a lot in this season. The writers are giving me great opportunities to, um, you know, evolve or show different sides to her in her private life. So I think that will, hopefully, the audience will respond to that as well. Diane mentioned that uh, Sonia and Marcos's relationship is kind of going to be put to the test in season two. Can you expand on that at all? Put to the <laughs> test in terms of, um, yeah, they, 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 they finish uh, season one with a very difficult relationship, you know, between those two. And um, right now, we have to uh, look for each other again, okay. and uh, because we need each other. Mm -hmm. There's many different issues that affect both sides of the border, and uh, the only way you can solve them is working together. Okay. And these guys know each other very well, and they respect each other very well, and they trust each other, so, but, Nevertheless, please keep watching because things will, you know, be interesting to say the least. We are a component for the show that they can use to answer questions other than, you know, Sonia and, and uh, Demian's character. So it's good. It's good to be active. It's good to have something to do. It's good to be on something that, you know, characters wise, a story that they can chase. You know, that that little whippersnapper upstart Sonia Cross, she uh, she she has plans of her own. And, yeah, you seem to have a little bit of a, a soft spot for her in season one, but maybe your patience was growing a little bit thin. Do we see more of that in season two? I think that her patience is growing thin with with Hank. To tell you the truth, I mean it's kind of it's kind of a bit of a. I don't know, like a teenager struggle going on with her in a way.